can you see, say, the, the money that's coming into Man City actually lifting them into the top four at some stage? Yes, I can. Uh, of course. Uh, you, you wouldn't have said that about Chelsea five, six years ago, right? All of a sudden, right? They hadn't won anything for 50 years. And now they're right up there. So, you know, it, it does have an effect. But, of course, if City break into the top four, could it be at the expense of Arsenal, for example? Well, then it's up to Arsenal to make sure they're better than Manchester City. I'm better than Chelsea and better than Spurs. Of course, we're living in a competitive world. Is it difficult to, to rein in that sort of spending power? Well, I think it has to be because, you know, we don't want to see just the guys who've got the deepest pockets just buying all the talent. If you look at other sports, all the sports are slowly going into the American model, really. The uh, closed league, where risk is limited and where you can get rid of the small teams who don't really sell shirts, tickets, track fans. Fans want to see the best clubs, they want to see the best teams, the best uh, players. A lot of those changes we will see in the, in the next coming years. Been a fan since 93 before shorts touched the knees And JVC was the sponsor of them red and white sleeves Before the rise of CDs and DVDs No MP3s, you had Sky Sports and BBC Everyone dressed in baggy tees, six digit fees First to merge with the conception of the Premier League Before the rants of DT on AFTV Before Tom Blade referees, David Dean's legacy It was heavenly magic, merged with the weaponry Bench shots like the bullet that murdered John F. Kennedy Physically and mentally, heavenly, strong, defensively, aggressively, recklessly Tony Yappers drank excessively, definitely young professionally Wake up for the remedy, recipe plus chemistry Change came successfully Freddie Lundberg, redhead, Scandinavian Shades his cranium, club proposed moves to Wembley Stadium Into Cronky, Devil Man Damien Secretive like Wakandian, wealth and vibranium Fans are told about the club's master strategy 60,000 capacity to pay the debt Gradually, rapidly, grow organically Lavishly, spread drastically Expand the Arsenal brand to fans internationally Naturally, rationally, fans can smell the board's blasphemy Compete with Bob Munich and Zetas That's a fantasy, magically, mathematically Practically, pragmatically Fans are filled with apathy for six years of travesty Superstars are sold and replaced by the academy The guarantees are profit when they're all sold eventually Boosting life expectancy, selling becomes necessity Desperately breeding players consistently time Pedigree, but we suffer heavily It's future and destiny Despite the limitations Wake us the ship steadily Sees the story Fans are sick of stagnation No longer producing gems They question the navigation Drifting from destination The cause of resuscitation Accusation The club lacks True aspiration Heated conversation The AG and congregation The condemnation Is confirmation of the confrontation The least of provocation And toleration The observation That we can't compete with Financial domination elsewhere Pompey face administration Plus a nine point deduction That confirms their relegation Many clubs begin to lobby Calls for greater moderation To shackle owners And pave the way for Cronky's coronation Your way for is the government Clubs and corporations Who you think would stand to benefit From tighter regulation Mass manipulation Propaganda and legislation They said we hit the rich And save the sport from liquidation Mass just speculation Escalation and wage inflation Creation by ex-members of the G14 So what's the methodology Protect the oligopoly Cement the status quo, maintaining the aristocracy Privilege for the biggest clubs, establish the riches with biggest revenue and sponsorship and selling most tickets. The damage is self-inflicted, very few resisted. How can smaller clubs compete when investment is so restricted? The game's corrupt. It's lost its touch from a sporting point of view The rock begins in 87 with Sylvia Bellasconi's dream to fix the competition and kill the whole concept of the European Cup. It's fucked. Construction of a super league for super rich clubs Second place, third place, fourth place, what? So was this competition for the winners of their leagues Or guaranteed for the highest figure views overseas? Every time I recite, I stay rock, 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 r